When a new rider finds out that there are ride mode settings in their wheel, many of them go online to find out which one should they use. They find a racer from New York who always rides in hard mode, so they think that the hard mode must be the best then, and they never touch the setting again, even after getting a new wheel. I've discussed with a lot of these people who have never even tried other modes. Now that the wheels have gotten heavier and the tire diameter larger, the downsides of a hard riding mode are more relevant than ever. It kind of makes sense to assume that a higher sensitivity would result in a faster and more effortless acceleration, but that is not the case. Let me explain. The EUC has only one goal, to stay upright. If you try to tilt the wheel forward, it spins the motor in order to neutralize the tilt and get the pedals back to horizontal. The fact that you can use this feature for acceleration is not its main function or goal. What the right modes or pedal sensitivity does is affect how hard the wheel tries to stay upright, not how hard it tries to accelerate, since it never really tries to accelerate. In the hardest mode or highest sensitivity, the wheel uses almost all its might to stay upright and tries to cancel out even the slightest of leans. In softer modes or lower sensitivity, the wheel still tries to get back to horizontal, but it doesn't use all its power right away to do so until the tilt is larger. Try to balance a broomstick on the palm of your hand. A hard mode tries to catch the broomstick as soon as it can and is cancelling out even the smallest leans. The main problem with the hard mode is just this. It tries its best to fight against your lean and cancel it out. But if you are attempting to lean, the hard mode works against you. Softer modes act slower at first and will let the broomstick fall a bit. Note that if I react slower at first, the broomstick will lean further and accelerate even without trying. Same goes for riding in a softer mode. The wheel will help you lean further, which results in a more effortless acceleration and braking. Then why do racers use the hard mode? While it takes more effort to accelerate, it allows for an instant access to all of the wheel's power, which is sometimes preferred for aggressive riding styles. It is more stable when riding at the edge of the wheel's capabilities. Which setting should you use? The ride mode settings are specific to each wheel and they differ in their implementation. The only way to find out the right setting for you and your wheel is for you to try them out. If your wheel only has three modes, switch them out and ride for at least 15 minutes on each setting. Be sure to accelerate and brake both hard and slow and ride in the environment and style you usually ride at. Off-roading is great in revealing the differences though. If you are a lucky owner of an in-motion wheel, you have much more control over the ride modes. Turn off the acceleration and brake assists and ride for a while at 100%, then 70% and 40% sensitivity in both commuter and off-road modes. Sound like a lot of work to try them out? Trust me, your riding is worth it. It only takes a few seconds to switch and you're going to benefit from the finely tuned settings for every second of all your future rides. Still feeling lazy though, put it in medium mode or 70% commuter on in motion and be done with it.